So scary. A Colorado man is killed while fighting along forces in Syria. We found out he wanted to take down ISIS, so when he couldn't get into the Marines, he joined Kurdish forces. Liz Gilardi joins us now, and Liz, you talk to his mom and friends. And family and friends had no idea Levi Jack Shirley was in Syria fighting, but they knew he wanted to do everything in his power to combat ISIS and protect innocent people. My definition of pure evil. Describing ISIS and a mission to fight back against terrorists. Yeah, I can hear something. Levi Jack Shirley, known by his Kurdish nickname Agar, meaning fire, killed in Syria during combat, only 24 years old. It was like a calling to him. That's how his mom describes her son, his willingness to take great risk to pursue his passion. He joined Kurdish forces called the People's Protection Units. They're very kind, open-hearted people, and that's what my son was, too. He's very kind, very big-hearted. Person. Shirley fought in Syria last year for a couple of months, then came back to the U.S. He returned to fight again in January, but didn't tell anyone. I guess it's just because he didn't want his family to worry, maybe. But we all had no idea. At Arvada High School, everyone knew he wanted to join the Marines, but his eyesight kept him from enlisting. Instead, making an impact in his own way. He's a better man than anyone I've ever met. And... He has more heart than anyone I've ever met, that's for sure. And his mother is in contact with the State Department. She is worried about getting her son's body back to the U.S. Reporting live in the studio, Liz Gilardi, Denver 7. Thank you, Liz. And we know Jack Shirley graduated from Arvada High School in 2010. A high school staff member says he was a great kid who was funny and kind, sensitive and hardworking. He says Jack never surrendered his principles and beliefs and gave his